I, uh, yeah, this is uh, Mr. Ford Decker. Uh, I'm calling about your ad in the LA Weekly, the, the one with the 50K. Yeah, I know who the real killer is. So, so meet me today at uh, LA Burger, Los Feliz, one o'clock. Don't be late, you won't be sorry. Okay, good idea, except for one problem. What? Whoever's listening is gonna expect to see Shasta there. Oh. Mm. Looks like the boys might have choked on that first assignment on a goat nut. Hold your hand, man. Damn, I my got my hand. I can't. Ah, jeez. No. Oh, man. What the f is my car? Where the f is your car? You know I left my car right here. Did I leave it right here? Didn't you say something about nobody would steal a Bull Bull station wagon? Can I have a moment to myself here, please? Oh, man, I can't believe this, man. Bull Bull! Bull Bull! Ah. We're in court for stolen kind at 11 o'clock on Monday. We're on to something. I say we go see what Tomek has to say for himself. Did I say you could speak? Bakersfield Maximum Security Prison. Thanks. You know, there's a reason why I'm being so hard on you, you know? No, I don't know. Because guys in the court who don't doubt the eyes have a funny habit and ended up dead. Henry, I always doubt my eyes. I just can't wait to see you come face to face with some rabid Morlock whose only thought is to cut out your heart, frick his ear, and eat it. I can take care of myself. You guys ain't from around here, huh? Who the hell are you? We're uh, reporters from the uh, LA Times Dispatch. Uh, Pick you. Pick you. Anyway, uh, we wanted to do a, uh, a story on your on your case. We already went to see your mom. How is she? I miss her very much. I miss her home cooking. <clears throat> I'm sure you do. A very special, amazing woman. Uh, anyway, we saw your story on TV and we thought we'd get your side of it. That's not how it happened. That was recreation. Kreslanik, the cop, he was dirty. Come by the store every night, late at night, wanting money. For what? Protection. He was a bad man, a crook. Yeah, this sounds like the TV version so far. Uh, the police claimed that I confessed, but I didn't. See, Americans have hatred of Russians. Mm -hmm. The jury was easy to mislead because of this. But I am innocent. I only know what happened. Late at night, the officer comes by my store. Very drunk. And then, something changed. More specific. You all laugh at me. Think I'm crazy. Well, I can't help you unless you tell us. The officer changed. In Russia, we have a word for it. But it doesn't mean the same thing here. Here you call it... Demon, I think. Surprise, Tomat. Couldn't they tell you things are different in America? Whoa! Come on, Tommy! You rats can shoot better than that! Tell me, you, you had the drop on this, uh... Grizzly Onyx. At PBR, fired six shots but didn't hit iron. Yes. And at the guy at Horns. Little ones. Right here. Real partner, I don't need to hear anymore. No, me neither. You think I'm crazy, huh? Relative question, but no. We don't think you're crazy. There's something else you should know. I'm all ears. I have been framed. They never found the body. Say, huh? No body. The police claimed that I buzzsawed his body in a meat grinder. Lab tests were very inconclusive. Point being... I think Officer Grislanik may still be alive. Uh, check out the conspiracy theory on the Russian here. Got any proof? You think I'd be in here if I had proof? You know, that, that's a good point. You gotta get proof, and quick! Why's that? I have to be executed tonight! Tonight? Okay, so we're working with a deadline. Thank you. One o'clock. Okay, we left our guy a message. Hopefully he'll show. Just stay frosty, keep your eyes peeled. Meanwhile, we've been doing some research on your boy Grizzly Atlantic. 
Henry, you remember back in 89, we had a problem with some of LA's finest? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when the Morlocks penetrated the LAPD, yeah. See, cops are the first in the crime scene, right? So these cop locks get there, collar the perp, then tell them if they didn't want to spend the rest of their life in the big house, they'd have to make a frosty and deal. After a few years, every collared felon for miles around had gone fast. That wasn't enough for some of these cop Morlocks. They didn't stop there. Now they're honing in on the drug trade, they're pinching laundering schemes to work, and that pissed some somebody's off. Most notably, another confirmed Morlock, Ella Renz. Ella Renz, the Morlock who cut that guy's fingers off. Exactly. See, there were seven of these Morlock cops originally. Well, Ella Renz killed them off one by one. Ella Renz was busy. Last man standing was our buddy, Ed Gruzy Alanik. All right, so you figure that Gruz faked his death, pinned it on Tomek to avoid being whacked by this Ella Renz guy. Well, rookie with the Doug the Reasoning. I know it sounds like a cheap dime store novel, but that is the logic of him. Whoa, watch out, watch out! Get cover, man! Ah, uh, here it comes. Everybody okay? Mm -hmm. My fries, man. Here, have some of mine. You guys are making me nervous. No, kid, mission accomplished. You got the bad guys trying to whack you. You're doing something right. A little goth urchin is Gretchen Skarsgård. She owns a little tarot outfit on Hollywood. And why is she here? Well, she says she used to date Grutzelonic. Also corroborates the story that Gretz is still alive. You know this guy, Gretchen? Ed. Poor Ed. I put him in a meat grinder. Yeah, well, we're all choked up about it. And what was your relationship with him? Sexual. Mm -hmm. well, this may come as a shock. But we think that old Ed might still be alive. He is still alive. Ed never left me, you know. Okay. Any idea where he is? Mm-hmm. Where? Here. In this plane. Uh-huh. How about address-wise? Well, no, not really. But I got, you know, some friends who might be privy to that information, you know. But I need a Ouija. So like what? You know, a Ouija. Just bridge the astral plane for a minute. Ask some of the dear departed. They'd know. They'd know. You got a Ouija board around here? Say what? A Ouija board. What kind of Mickey Mouse outfit do you think this is, Henry? Look, she wants one, all right? Henry, this whole deal is about saving souls, reducing the demon population in Hollywood. Not some mojo hocus pocus crap. Look, she wants one. Yeah, we'll get her an eight ball, maybe some angel dust. You on acid, Henry? Yeah, Henry, are you on acid? That's it. Where'd it go? Uh, a, a place, a location where Ed may be hiding. G D W R E A F. Good drift. Do you astrally project in English? Please. No more. Tough break, guys. Yeah, maybe we ought to call those people and tell them their Ouija board doesn't work. All right, G D W R E A F. Maybe that's one of them dudes we have to spell it backwards. All right, F A E R W D G. What? Sorry, no. Hold it. Those are the first eight letters of the first eight books of the Bhagavad Gita. Of course it is. And in the eighth chapter of the eighth book, go to the town of Jezreel, to the city of Makito, and find Bugenhagen. Bugenhagen, that's Flemish for unleavened bread. No, no, no. That is with two O's. This is one O. It is German for youth hostel. There's three in L.A. County. Oh, Eureka. <laughs> Did you not think of that sooner? Okay, we got five hours to find Gruzelonic so Tomek isn't executed for his so-called murder. Five hours? Plenty of time. Okay. Just follow my lead, all right? No taglines, no action hero crap. Is Ed around? Not sure. He's been a little jumpy lately. I've had a hard time keeping up with him. Yeah, I think we could wait in his office. You dudes can hang in here. Make yourself at home. I'll be downstairs if you need me. So, uh, Henry, you said you've been doing this how long? Huh? Whoa, whoa, look at here. Phone tap, various buggin' sh pictures of us. Here. Whoa. I think we got our sniper. And then this was the guy that uh, had the old woman wired. So if somebody comes by to collect the 50 large and rats him out, he knows he's got a problem. Exactly. So he bugs the old lady just to see if anybody's still sniffing around. Whoa! Oh, there's my jam! She's nice and mighty, just letting it all hang out. 